Hey guys, I'm Rosa. And I'm Hallie, and this episode is all about braids. Ready to get your hair ready, girl? <laughs> yeah. Let's get to the braids. This is our friend Anna here, and she's gonna help us out. To keep some flyaways down, we usually spray them in with a little water. Then we take the pin, we want to section it off so it's nice and clean, and then we start our braids. So what kind of braid is it? This is going to be a dressage braid, and it's typically used in any kind of dressage show or special event where you want to look extra nice. Well, I do dressage, and it's super fun because the horse looks super elegant. Of course, they already look elegant. <laughs> Anna, is it okay if we go and braid the horse's tail? Yeah, of course. So now we're going to be braiding the horse's tail into a fish tail braid, which is something you do when a horse show comes around. Think about the horse's tail as if the two sides are two separate ponytails. You want to take a small piece from the outside of one side of the tail and cross it over to the other. Then do the same thing on the other side with a similar size piece of hair. And just keep going until you run out of hair. You really want to take your time because if you want it to look nice, you can't just swap it together. A fish tail braid keeps the tail contained so when you're riding, jumping, the tail doesn't go fine. This is starting to look really adorable. I know. We should do fish tail braids on our own hair. Oh my gosh, yes. So Anna, how are the braids going? Great, I'm just about ready to sew them in. And all the needles are blunt so none of them are going to hurt the horse. Oh good. And you put it through the bottom of the braid right here bring it up like this, makes it a button braid. Oh, that's so pretty. And you bring it back through a couple times just so it's nice and tight. You don't even have to tie it off or anything. Just snip off the excess thread and, and you're that's done. a braid. For that braid. <laughs> yeah, then you have about oh, 10 so more. Pretty. How long does this usually take? 30 to 45 minutes, wow. depending on how much practice you've had. So, have either of you done any shows or competition? I am a hunter and a jumper. I like to do braids personally. They're one of my favorite parts. And I do Spanish dressage. I like to experiment, use French braids, fish tails. It's all super fun. Oh, Penny, you're being so patient with us. Thank She's you. She's standing so still, making our lives easier. And now it's time to braid our hair. We're going to be doing a fishtail just like we did with Penny. We want to have the hair into two sections. Bring a few strands out and bring it over. You're going to do the other side and then you're just going to keep repeating. Do I look like Penny yet? You're getting close to it. I don't know if you can match her shininess. Maybe I need to brush you like Penny. <laughs> Get the curry comb. It looks pretty fab. Let me undo the braid I already the original have. original braid. So, Rosa, what's your favorite subject in school? Um, definitely reading. Yeah, I, I love, love to read. Have you read Spirit yet? Absolutely, it's super good. I really liked how there are some parts that you didn't quite get in the show that, I don't know, kind of added something new. An inside look behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> and we have some pretty, pretty fishtails. Yeah. Now we're both looking fabulous. Fabulous like Penny. Oh, oh my gosh, Anna looks amazing. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much. And Thanks, thank you, Anna and Rosie. Rosie. She looks ready for a show. Yeah. Oh. Hey, and now our braids are matching the tail, too. Oh, yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> this is how our final product turned out. Penny started a trend. We're yeah. twinning or tripleting. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Spirit on Netflix. Comment down below what your favorite braid is, either on you or your horse. And hit like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Bye, See guys. you later. Penny says bye. <laughs>